What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Please welcome new guest, Alyssa. Hi. Welcome. Happy to be here. Thanks for tripping to Brooklyn. It was an easy trip. Yes, yeah, straight here, right? Door to door, huh? Door to door. All right, today she's going to rate her top three recent designer releases from the ones that I have here. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll have some fun. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Let your hair down, okay. like I do. <laughs> I'm ready. So these are all designer fragrances. You may have heard of some. Okay. But they're all rather new, mm -hmm. as in released in the last six months. All right, so these are dry down strips. They've already been pre-sprayed. And I'm gonna give you fresh sprays of all these and you'll compare the fresh spray to the dry down. And that's what we do here at BFL. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start from this end. We'll work on down to your end and we'll, we'll have some fun here, okay? Okay, I'm excited. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> here so we don't contaminate everything else okay. there you go mm. it's like it's got a, like a sweet sweet smell to it soft i like it you like it i like it it's all right it's yeah it's not like walk past a guy and like you know all right so that's what we're looking for here the standout fragrances for guys that's the dry down is it any better than the fresh spray it, it is better it's definitely better it's like just very soft and like kind of sweet. Doesn't blow you away. Okay, cool beans. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen these in like Sephora. Yes. I have a beach walk. Oh, so do I. I like that one. It's a I good summer too. one. Good summer one. This one's called Under the Lemon Trees. Under the Lemon Trees. Mmm. This is really good. Are these like unisex? They are. This is. This is. But the rest of them are, are men. Yeah, because I feel like I like this for me. This is like a wake up, good summer smell. It's Off uplifting, right? It's, yeah, it's very uplifting. Like really... It's like, let's get the... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let's get this day started. Yeah, no, it's definitely like a morning smell when you're ready to like get your day going. Morning what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a dry down. That's what it evolves mm. to. After. This smells like a really good dessert. So she's liking under the lemon trees. I like this. Awesome. Okay, cool. So Yummy. we'll put that there. Next up we have, it just came out within the last month. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun for Ohm. Mm. You gave me a huge compliment at work. Okay, on this one? Yes. Yay. <laughs> That's all I will say. I don't want to uh, influence you in any way. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, so positive. <laughs> I really like this. Again, like very soft, nothing too strong mm -hmm. or. Mmm. Mmm. I'm trying to pick up what this is. Well, here's a dry down. Maybe this will give you a little more idea into what it dries down to. Different dry. Yeah. This is like a beachy kind yes, of suntan laying in the sun. I like this a lot. In Italy, in the Mediterranean. Mm. You like that? Yeah. You would love that on, Definitely a, on summer, a guy? Definitely summer. I like this on a guy. Awesome. Just, it's it's soft. It's not that like super mm -hmm. strong or like overpowering. It's, the it whole, is. The whole series of light blue is pretty much like laid back and yeah, very, you know, right. resort, holiday type of thing. Okay. Yeah. Vacay. 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 Vibes. Vacay mode, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Moving this right along, we have from Mont Blanc. This is called Explora. Explora. Do you know any Mont Blanc fragrances at all? No. I don't. I don't think I've explored any of theirs. It's popular for men. I don't know that they have women's. I actually don't know. <laughs> mm. Eh? Yeah. It's like 
like it's not it's it's not too powerful and i'm not getting you're not it's not blowing your skirt up is no, it this is a, this not. is a try down okay let's see if this makes a difference but typically it's that first initial blast that lures you in yeah. to liking it so you kind of know no, this isn't whether it. you like it this or not this isn't it all right so kick to the curb is mont black explorer mont black <clears throat> so kick to the curb is mont black Explore. Kick to the curb. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Moving right along, we have from the house of Giorgio Armani again. This is called Code. There was a code that came out many years ago. This is a flanker. Okay. Of many flankers. Another one that's been... This company likes to do flankers. Giorgio Armani. Mm -hmm. This came out just this year. It's called Code Absolute. Okay. So, I'm I going to spray... I used to buy Armani Code for one of my ex-boyfriends. So, so, the, so you I, approve of that? I did. Like very sexy. All right, let's see if you find this flanker sexy. Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> I really love this. Mm. You guys thought, oh, I know what she's gonna pick. This one threw you for a curve, right, guys? She likes it a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. All right, let's see if you dig the dry down just as much. You probably will. It's a nice, uh, creamy fragrance, in my opinion. It is creamy. That's what it was. It's creamy. It's got, like... She's so cute. Like, every time I have a new guest on, they'll ask some questions. Do I have to describe what it smells like? No, just if you like it or not. You know, it's it's fun here. This is a laid-back atmosphere. Mm, I love this. I feel like I love this. <laughs> Should we stop the video? It's all over. Game over. This one won? No, well, I think it might. No, like this else. bottle's been intriguing me the okay. whole time, so we it, definitely have to see. That's definitely eye candy. It's a gorgeous bottle. Oh, this is. Have you ever seen the original? No. This was the dry down. You like yeah, the dry that down was too? Yeah, the dry down. I love. I love. I love that. Up next, another flanker. This one is Versace's Eros Flame. Mm. The bottle's already. We both. Me. What I keep grabbing down there? <laughs> What's down there? It's like it in the in the sewer. The clown. Yeah. Where's Clyde? All right. Who's Clyde? The, the That's cat. the name? The cat. Claude. Claude. <laughs> Who's Clyde? Who's Clyde? <laughs> Renaming my cat and shit. Jerk. Jerk. <laughs> mm. See, I told you. I didn't jump the gun with this one. Mm, I really like this, too. Mm. Wow. Yeah. All right, dry this down is, time. This is a runner. I, I really like this guy. Oh, and I really like it dry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Cut. That didn't... No, I don't. <laughs> she loves it. Wow. Love. So, mm. I'll give you a little heads up. Not yeah. to influence you. You already know no, what you like. Yeah. This one, I like the original better yeah? than I do this one. I haven't put my review out yet, but I do like the original better than this one. Okay. I'll have you smell it later and see what you think. Okay. So, that's got another rave from Miss Alyssa. Thumbs up to that guy. Next up, we have Hugo Boss. This is called The Scent Private Accord. Right there. Mm. Um, I wanted to have Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum in this video, but... Unfortunately, it's being borrowed at the moment, so there you go, dear. Hugo Boss, The Scent, Private Accord. Well, I already know her MO. You don't have to sniff it harder to make yourself <laughs> like it. If you don't like it, you're allowed to not like it. I promise. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's Okay. It smells lotion-y. All right. Fair enough. Give me the fresh spray. This is the dry down. Mm. Okay. I like when you can make up your mind and yes or no. It's it's pretty simple. So and I'm pretty simple with that, but that, it's like you know you gotta like. And uh, you you tend you tend to like when I wear niche. Yes. Um, at work, those are. 
definitely a little more out there and perhaps a little more creative, some yeah. might say, but um, I do like my designers too. Right. No, definitely. And I definitely know for a fact because when I did this video, I mentioned you that you're going to be on and that you gave me a compliment at work, so uh, here she is in the flesh. That's me. Last up, we have from the house of Givenchy. This is Gentleman Givenchy Cologne. It's mm. the third, or actually the fourth, but really the third in this collection, modern collection. And the last one for this evening. Just in time, because my chair is squeaking is about to break. I'm going to pull my ass. Mm. I like it. Okay. I like it. So it's not a meh. It's, it's not a meh, because it's like, kind of like spa. I like it. I don't love it. Okay, here's a dry down. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to trick you oh, at work better and dry. wear this. It's better dry. Want me to put some skin for you? Yeah. Let's see. I feel like it's more manly dry. I feel like the spray was like very fresh and this, I just got a little more like masculine. Yeah. Yeah, it's very fresh on you. Yeah, I, I, I happen to love that one. Yeah. I just got it so I haven't put a dent in it at all, but mm -hmm. I do think it's a, a well done fragrance. No, it's fresh. All right, so we're going to cut now and she's going to let us know what her top three favorite fragrances for men that she found in this presentation today. Be right back. All right, so she's deliberated and she has her top three that she thinks will smell fantastic on you guys. What's number three? Number three, Sun, right? Georgia Cabana Light Blue, Sun for Ohm. Number three. All right. Two. Arrow's Flame by Versace. Versace? Versace. Versace, Versace. And definitely my number one. Is it because it's the tallest bottle? No. You really like you really did fall for that one. I, I, I felt I felt the vibe. That <laughs> one definitely like won me over. I feel like I've always had like a little love for Armani mm -hmm. Code always. Okay. And now it just like stole me away. Alright, well, there it is. Her first time on BFL and her first top three fragrances for men. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's just so Thanks fun. Thanks for trekking to Brooklyn. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you were awesome. Let us know if you'd like to see her back on VFL. Leave a comment down below. Let's start a conversation. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't, a subscriber, click on the bell icon to miss notifications on new reviews, new content giveaways, and all the freaking fun always happening right here at VFL. Take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time.